yeah so uh, what has happened uh, google what they what google did google <clears throat> saw that that devops model may not be successful if you try to in immediately jump from the traditional model of the development to devops model because in devops as i said which which has to be done everything has to be done by a team one team no more team so many challenges which which uh, organization has faced so <clears throat> what google practiced google said let's do one thing from the traditional software development we will not move to devops we will move to sre first look at this because once we move to the sre first then at least we will bring the engineering approach in the operations team which earlier it was like a very difficult to bring approach okay not engineering work i am saying approach of engineering so once this sre team will be enabled with the engineering mindset and engineering team anyways they are there at the same time development team will enable with the operations mindset okay with this model then will next step after this sre team will become a devops team so many organizations which is a uh, uh, put it in this way if you are starting the development today for the one new product probably you start with the devops itself because you'll say each of the engineers say hey, this is a product you are a team for two to three people microservices based architecture containerized world kubernetes docker and all and this is the team this is the this is the functionality this is the testing use cases and this is the operationalized you have to make it run in a uh, kubernetes environment in the production simple so devops is very very fit for this but the the problem with the new uh, for, for problem with the old projects the old projects are you getting my points the problem with the old projects how can you bring them from the traditional model of development to the devops model or sre model and that's where we have to do this kind of you know cultural changes mindset changes and also like uh, 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 tools training practice training and also like yeah see uh, if you look at the old legacy model uh, and the new model see if you are starting the new product uh, you can uh, you can directly move the platform as like a container and a kubernetes architecture microservices uh, software development model devops all these best tools which you can use it you don't need to migrate from one to another but if you have a old projects legacy projects a large team not a microservices concept like a soa concept maybe a monolithic concept architecture maybe still you are in a agile model or what a form model maybe so bring those people from that from one culture to another culture is a challenge so suddenly for example i'll i'll put it in this way there's one ops engineer who's been doing the operations work from last 10 years 15 years and suddenly you'll ask him to bring the engineering approach that means you have to plan you have to do the coding you have to do this you have to do that you have to do code for everything then he will feel lost little bit he will he may revel actually saying that hey this is not my work i was i was doing something different from last 10 years so that's where the cultural changes has to be bring in and mindset changes so slowly you will have to migrate so from the traditional mode of the development to devops migration which was very hard actually so many project got failed because of that but if you bring that traditional mode of development to sre concept and development team and sre team they will work together on various various fronts as i am discussing then the transition will be very smooth and then you can migrate to devops model from sre to devops so again depends on the anatomy of the team characteristics uh, release model delivery Uh, your end users also how much they are accommodating these changes and stuff like that. 
getting opens hello okay so sre team and devops team there are few thing which is common they focus on quality and velocity they focus on automation and tooling systems and removing the silos but devops team has a broader remit significant culture change required for devops whereas sre is more prescriptive feasible internal migration is possible in a faster way so here what we have development team of steam either you make it devops team which is not our session objective or sre team is up to you look at this development team and ops team merge it together and make it one devops team significant investment needed acceptance of change needed by the each stakeholder including engineers need outside help also for changing the mindset and culture and an even roll out plan here but this is the plan which we are doing and we are trying to do so development to team to development team will remain same but of team to srt are you understanding all of you guys yeah so of team will become srt team only and only when you start working with engineering team when you bring the engineering approach or in to bring the reliability uh, for your site applications okay so devops team you know they will they need to build the skills on everything actually they need to be pro in a run time environment platform like a docker kubernetes now now this earlier it used to be vms and all aws you know and many more but look at this sri team sri team need not need, need to bother about this programming and all for the product but run time environment and security and automations and all same same course with this development team they need to no need to worry about this uh, reliability tools and stuff like that platform will become the same so now in this discussions we are using the platform which is docker and kubernetes so like that so this is the sre versus devops versus development team and versus operations team all of you are under, understanding this right all of you yeah so exploring the key tenants of sre so these are the key tenants which we have discussed earlier also eliminating eliminating toil working with the service level and managing failures these are the three things which we have to discuss you know throughout the sessions before lunch hour and understand build and understand so look at this this is the scenario number 1 <clears throat> okay this is the scenario number 1 read this so here <clears throat> one of the work okay see in operations when you do hundreds of work right now which work to be automated you have to do the plan for it so this is one of the work i have taken as example so i don't know how many of you have, have been doing this have you have you have been have you been deleting the old log files from the some production servers anyone i have done this work actually few years before so how to automate that this is a toil actually right every time you have to do manually can we automate it so log in weekly delete old logs logs new releases you got introduced again logs fill the disk daily
दर्ज करें दर्ज करें सेंड दैट्स कॉल एलिमिनेटिंग ट्वेल्व प्रोसेस ओके सो व्हाट यू डिड यू राइट अ स्क्रिप्ट टू डिलीट ऑल लॉक्स लॉक्स इन एंड रन रन डेली ओके नाउ थिंक सिंपल ओके यू डिड इट वेल दैट्स वंडरफुल सो बेसिकली यू डिड द फेज थ्री द स्क्रिप्ट टू डिलीट ओल्ड बट व्हाट अबाउट व्हेन यू स्केल अप टू फिफ्टी सर्वर्स Hundred servers. Are you going to log into the each server? Think simple. Are you going to log into each server and set up a cron? Cron job to run daily. How can you automate that now? One server is okay. Two server is okay. Fifty server, hundred server, two hundred servers. So what to do? How to eliminate the oil? That is a tactic you have to learn. That you did very good work. But it's good for only one, two, five servers. What about fifty servers, hundred servers, two thousand servers? I'm saying two thousand servers. And you will run. I mean, if you're in ops, see, Flipkart must be running in the five thousand server. Amazon at least twenty thousand, thirty thousand servers. Are you getting the scale now? What to do? हेलो सो दैट्स हाँ सो दैट्स वेयर यू हैव टू ब्रिंग द ऑटोमेशन इन प्लेस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू वर्क विद द डेव टीम यू हैव टू वर्क विद सम ऑफ द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस सम ऑफ द टूल सेट्स दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एस आर ई यू नीड टू प्लान फॉर दैट वर्क यू हैव टू डिजाइन फॉर दैट वर्क यू हैव टू टेस्ट दैट वर्क देन यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड देन यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दैट ट्वेल फॉर इट Are you getting the context now? Because if you write a script, delete all logs, run in the log rotations and all, that is the ops work. But you have to become SRE. So that's the things. This is for the service level, SLA, SLO, SLIN. What do you do? Think simple. Ops team service level maintain. New release has introduced, which has a bugs. Bug cause the latency. Latency is the one important things. Remember that for you. Let's say your application is loaded in earlier. It was loaded in two seconds because of the new release. Now it's loading in five seconds because of bugs in the new release. So what you will do? What you will do? Do you will you do capacity increase capacity? And report issue to the development team. If new release config issues causes outage, then what you do? What you do? Fix config and resolve service, and then you will block new release for a great period. Is it something you are going to do? You probably might have done this one also. You have to bring the engineering approach for it. how to solve this problem how to eliminate this toy you might have done it right if there is a bugs in the software and because of that there is a downtime and i'll put it in a simple way so immediately you will report back to the dev team and saying that hey we have a problem in it, and then block all the releases so how do we do that how do we address this kind of situation how do you manage the failures yeah can you see my screen now so there is some engineers who did a little bit of changes in dns and so what you will do you will fix the dns issues post mortem into the root cause build a dns change tool so sr is all about not fixing the problem after introducing the problem it's a engineering approach you have to bring the engineering appro approach after that so how to manage your failures dns changes causes outage 
how to avoid that changes which causes the outage and before that only plan design test and suffer so yeah these are the things which we have to practice it how to eliminate toil how to working to service level how to manage the failures and so on so why sre works so sre works because conflict between dev and ops made explicit contracted service level business buy in integration between the dev and ops shared responsibility shared workload common toolkit prescriptive practices which we have through the sre on core teams and target percentage of sre time on toil service level framework it led migrations within existing org chart maintain product knowledge and start more SRE empowerment improving a system formal structure tools to meet responsibility SRE as an attractive role reduce mundane work SRE will help you to expand the skills also and career development so it's what happens when you ask a software engineer to design an operating operations function that is called SRE so bring the engineering approach in operations that's called as okay so so with the summary sre is an approach to it operations maintains and dev and ops split but adds engineering to ops shared goals with the devops breaking down silos increasing quality and velocity growing adoptions and sym sympathetic migrations and stuff like So guys, did you understand what is the SRE is all about and stuff like that? All of you.